It's a couple Jordan 1 retros and they gotta be in your collection You just collect them, you never gon' step in I can respect it, but that ain't for me I gotta lay so deep, let's see me threes and throw a little fit together Get on the go L, play some bid and hopefully I can just hit for L Everybody, y'all already right, know, man, it is your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, back with another video for y'all. Today, man, we gonna be finding out which shoe I got. Now, last week on Friday, I got that exclusive access to be able to pick up, or have a chance to pick up, should I say, the off-white dunks that came out. Because, you know, just because you got exclusive access, that don't mean that you're gonna technically hit whenever they drop. Now, I'm not sure which lot number I got, but these things, I had to go ahead. I overnight shipped them, which, you know, they dropped on Friday, but I didn't get them until today. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, I had to wait. I know yesterday I was checking the tracking, and I was like, yo, they in Seattle, so that means I better get them things today. And, hey, hey, everything worked out smooth. You know what I'm saying? As you guys see, this is the box that they came in. None of the tape or nothing like that, but I still feel like these boxes are flimsy. This is one thing that I would change on the box because I've gotten a pair of shoes before and Nike, you know what I'm saying, you can really just pull that part out. But I got to reuse this box because I got to ship something. So right now we're going to find out which one I got. You guys stay tuned to the channel. I will give you guys a full detail and on feet tomorrow on the sneaker. But I just wanted to unbox the shoe, check it out with you guys today and find out if you guys hit. Let me know what lot number you hit on as well. And uh, hey. We're going to do this thing real simple. Hey, all we got to do is just pull this little tag right here. And there you go, man. Let's see what these things hitting on, y'all. So we have off-white dunks. And I got my box upside down, man. But right here, hey, the box is clean, yo. The box is clean. I actually thought that that was like some tape tape for real on it. Hey, it would have been crazy if they had to put some tape on that junk for real, but really, really clean box, you know what I'm saying? Let's see what lot number we got because I already seen that this is the size over here, so y'all see what lot number we got right here. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bust these bad boys open, see what we got. Hey, like I said, stay tuned, full detail review on feet dropping tomorrow for you guys. I just wanted to unbox these things and check them out with you guys and y'all get my first impressions on the camera, man. So, woo, them things, hey, hmm, smelling good. Y'all already know, there it is right there. And we have lot number 10 out of 50, y'all. Yes, sir. Okay, man, this is my first time ever hitting on sneakers for a pair of off-whites. I can now officially say that I've hit for a pair of off-whites and a pair of Travis Scott's off the sneakers. It took a while for me to get something like this again. The last time I hit for a sneaker that was exclusive like this would have been the Travis 4's. And I have not hit nothing exclusive since then that was like super, super crazy limited, man. So right here, you guys can see we have lot 10 in our hands. And I ain't gonna lie, man, I really want to see what the suede joints looking like because, hey, this it's a nice leather when you're looking at that gray on these joints, but yes, man, this is out of the 50, we got number 10, and if I'm not mistaken, Farmer Simpson did do a review over Lot 10, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that he did a review over it. I have not seen anybody else with this lot number, though. Y'all let me know what you guys think about these bad boys. Did you hit for a pair of these things, or do you plan on copping a pair on the resale market? 50 pairs of sneakers. Uh, different sneakers that they had and 140,000 pairs released. I really feel like there's still some sitting out there. I know a lot of people wanted to get lot one or lot 50. I really wanted lot one. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I thought that would be crazy just to get the first shoe. I'm, I wasn't really feeling lot 50. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I like the gray and the white vibes. I think that it is definitely a clean sneaker. I really want to get a pair of the ones with the suede on them as well, but I'm super, super humble about being able to get this pair right here. Finally, I guess watching them videos and stuff do pay off because I do just sit on the sneakers app. I look at like when they showing like what people be wearing, what they fits and 
and stuff like that. I catch some of the lies. I like stuff. I share stuff. You know what I'm saying? And my people, whenever I, like, if I see a sneaker and it's about to drop, I might share the link or something like that. But I do interact with that sneakers app. But it, that don't mean that just because you're interacting with it that you're always going to hit on something. I just say that it was really the luck of the draw that I was able to hit on a pair of these joints. I know people that hit on sneakers all the time and they did not get exclusive access. So, just blessed. And I know that there are some pairs that I saw that they were exclusive only overseas. So, you couldn't get those in the States. So, you know, some of them got good value. If you're trying to trade, it's definitely a dope sneaker that you could trade if you hit and you don't want it. I know some people said that they hit and they weren't able to get their size. So, hey, great trade bait. Or you could, you could bless somebody that you know, hook them up with a nice little price instead of charging them crazy. I was blessed. I got a 10% discount on these joints. So, I did score these joints for under retail. Steals and deals, man. Not too much under retail, but you know, 10% off. That's always a blessing. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys hit on a pair of the 50. You know what I'm saying? What lot number did you get? What is your favorite lot number out of all of the 50 that dropped? Do you think that they really dropped them all? Comment all that down below, or do you feel like this sneaker is just stupid overhyped? You know what I'm saying? I'm be honest. I like this wave of the dunks better than the first ones that came out you know what i'm saying the first off-white dunks i like how they did this vibe and they mixed it up they gave you 50 different sneakers it's a dope it's a dope type of mix up especially with the dunk being so hot right now when it came back it just uh, that it came back full throttle g and now these joints just popping everybody want to get a pair of dunks tomorrow full detail review we'll break down the shoe and everything and then i'll hit y'all with the on feet action with this pair right here until the next video man y'all already peace love in laguna beach and i'll catch you guys tomorrow in the next video yay it's a couple jordan one red trolls and they gotta be in your collection you just collect them you never go step in i can respect it but that ain't for me i gotta lay so deep let's see me threes and throw a little fit together get on the go L, play some bed and hopefully i can just hit forever